Hi, I'm Dr. Christiane Northrup, an OBGYN physician and authority on everything that can go right with your body and your health, and how to use this knowledge to transform your health and truly flourish. As more and more baby boomers are called to care for their aging parents, what advice can you give these caregivers? That's a question I got recently. And of course, many are already stressed emotionally or financially with work and raising teenagers or paying for college. So, how do you survive that kind of caregiving? First of all, I'm going to give you the tip, and you know this tip already, but here it is. If you are giving from an empty cup, there is no way that your caregiving is going to be effective at all. I remember a patient of mine who was terrified that her aging mother would die if she weren't around. Here's the tip. We are all going to die. And you don't have a lot of control over that for another person, so you do the very best you can. But here it is, here it is. You are not the higher power for the person you're caring for. They have their own connection to source. You're not it. They've got their own. Back in the day when I was delivering babies and running to the emergency room and all of that stuff, I thought that people's lives were in my hands, and to some extent they were, but in a far greater extent, they weren't. I remember scrubbing at the scrub sink at St. Margaret's Hospital for Women on top of Dorchester Hill in Massachusetts. And as I would scrub, they had a prayer. The Sisters of Mercy had a prayer to Archangel Raphael, saying to please guide my hands as I operated on this patient. I'll never forget it. Every time I'd scrub at that sink, I thought, I'm not in this alone. And that's the way you gotta do it with caregiving. Ask for help, get support, rest when you need to, and understand that that evening when you go out to a movie or you turn off your cell phone, has the power to fill your cup so that when you're truly present with the person you're supposed to be caring for, you'll have something worth giving. You can never do this alone. You are not their higher power. Connect with your own first. For more inspirational tips, visit my blog and exploredrnorthrop.com where you will find wisdom for your body, mind, and spirit. Visit daily to discover the connection between your thoughts, your beliefs, your physical health, and your life circumstances. And remember, you and your connection with Source are in the driver's seat of your health, and you can make profound changes.